Michael Mayer, how are you guys? Mike. Good. Have a good hair day, man. Excuse me? Have a bad day here? Have, have, have a good hair day? Never, yeah, I mean, it's, once you put that helmet on, you don't know what it's going to look like, so. <laughs> good to at least have hair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Looking forward, when you visualize the upcoming season, what does it look like for Michael Mayer? Me personally or the team? Both. Um, as a team, you know, undefeated season, national championship. I think that's agreed upon with everybody in that building, every single person in that building. Um, personally, I'm just going to go try to play my best football. I know that sounds cliche. I know that sounds whatever. Um, you know, I'm just going to go try to play my best football. I'm not worried about any more records here. I'm not truly worried about the Mackey Award. I want to win a national championship over, over that. Um, so I'm going to try to go play my best ball and, and do things that will help my team win. That's what I'm worried about. Daunting task, especially when you're constantly double teamed. What's the mental aspect when you go in there and they've got three, four guys? Coming? Get my teammates open. You know, that's that's a big part of it. And, and if I can still get open while getting double teamed or getting triple teamed, I'm still going to try to get open. You know, and Ty's going to give me the ball if I'm open, and I know that. Um, so, it the attitude it really doesn't change. The attitude still get open, and, and, and hopefully the ball is going to find me. Um, I'm not, you know getting up to line and being like, shoot, you know, they got two people on me, you know, this route's dead or something like nothing, nothing changes from getting double team or triple team. I go out there, I'm going to run my route. If I don't win, all right, they got two people on me. Somebody else is going to open up, you know. Where does Tyler's growth kind of come from over the summer? Yeah, Tyler, he, he, he's grown a lot. Um, he's been a big leader and he's, he's become an even big and le bigger leader um, after being, you know, announced QB1. Um, so. He's grown a lot. He's he's his his throws have grown. His running, his legs have grown. Um, his mental capacity to learn things and, and learn plays and read the defense has grown. Um, just overall, he he's grown a lot, and, and and I can't say enough good things about him. And then you being a June enrollee, what did you kind of see from Holden and Eli as they got the rest? I was saying, I was telling him up there that I mean this this tight end room is going to be going to be good for a very long time. Um, they both remind me of my freshman self a little bit. I was saying when I used to run those shallows and just kind of run after the ball after I get those throws, they, they can do that, and, and they're capable of doing that, and I've seen them do it. Um, they're, they both got to go get a little bit bigger. They know that. I think they're a little bit light right now, um, but they're going to be good. They're going to be very good players. And then Davis Sherwood, what does he just bring to the offense? Yeah, he brings a lot. He brings an aspect of uh, a little bit of grit, um, a little bit of toughness. Um, kicking dudes out, blocking dudes, pancaking dudes. Um, just a, a good all-around player, and uh, he's going to be great for us this year. Michael, it's kind of hard to probably do what you did last year. You're not even thinking about it, though, but, you know, when you line up on that, you line up on the scrimmage, when the line of scrimmage, you know, how do you keep that confidence and just that, you know, exuberate what you're doing right now? Just... It's just playing ball. That's all it is. I mean, there's really nothing else to it for me. Uh, I got a great family. I got great friends. I mean, I'm just going out there and, and, and playing the best ball that I can play. And, and that's really all that I'm worried about, truthfully. Mike, you dealt with obviously a lot of pressure before. You had a fantastic year this year. I know you're still looking to take another step up this year. Um, how does it feel knowing that in pretty much every game that you guys are going to go into, the other team is going to kind of have to center their defense around stopping 87. I'm going to still do my best to get open. I mean, if they want to put two people on me, I'm still going to try to get open. And if I'm open, Ty's going to give me the ball. And if I'm not open, then somebody else is going to be open and Ty's going to get them the ball. And uh, we're going to keep doing that and, and, and until we win the game. And then we'll get out of there with a W and then we'll prepare for the next game, you know? I know you had a lot of media attention last year and it's only gotten bigger this year. How does a 21-year-old with this kind of notoriety already, how do you deal with you know this much of a spotlight this early? Great parents, great siblings, uh, great people in the Goog, uh, great community, great fans here. You know, the fans here are so happy for a football team. They're happy for me. They're happy for Tyler. Um, it's not that difficult when you got great people around you. You know, Michael, you mentioned the tight end room. Let's talk about the coach. Been around a lot of coaches. What does Coach Parker bring to this program? Yeah, he brings a lot. He's a juice guy. He brings a lot of energy, um, and uh, he's his biggest thing is details details you know one more step on that route you know your foot's in the wrong place on that block try to move it six inches to the left there just all sorts of things that I've never really thought of as a football player um, 
I, sometimes it's like, all right, I got this dude blocked and that's good. The running back goes away. Now it's, all right, no, you got him blocked, but when you can drive him five yards back, then you might as well drive him five yards back too. Um, so he's been great. He's been great for me. I've learned so much from him. I know he's been great for uh, Kev Bauman and uh, the whole tight end room. So we're very happy to have him here. All right, you guys good? Thank, Thank you. you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. Yep.